the first piece of flashing that we're going to want to do is called an apron flashing. Here is a piece that I've already bent up. I want to make the piece such that there's a bend where the roof deck meets the chimney. I want to have a couple of um, wraparounds here on the side, and I want a couple of tabs by which I'm able to nail this to the deck. I've put a couple of bends in the front of the flashing, one just to have some down pressure and then another bend that folds underneath that gives it a finished look and uh, also some extra strength and rigidity. Anytime that you've got bends in a piece of flashing, that's going to give it some extra strength. This is kind of what the layout looks like. You might notice here that I have, first of all, I've, I've used a half a width of coil. I've used 12 inches as a convenient width. I want to make my apron about four inches in front of the chimney. Now I might mention that if this uh, course had come up further, say it, it ended here, I would probably come down and wrap around the butt and put my apron, my underturned hem of the apron, into the top lock of this course. But seeing how I had this much shingle showing, uh, I don't think that would look real good aesthetically, so I'm going to just bring it out about four inches. I'm going to cut a piece of coil stock 10 inches wider than my chimney. So from here to here represents my chimney width. I've got 5 inches extra on, on either side. And the reason for that is because our sidewall channel has a water return channel of about 3 and 3 quarters to 4 inches wide depending on which sidewall, what, what product we're talking about. But I want that to be able to dump out on top of my apron. So I want it to be wider than that water return channel. So I have five inches here. I'm going to have a diagonal cut. This is going to be the flap that folds down onto the deck. This here is going to be the wrap around on the sides. My red line here represents the bend that's going to go from the other side that represents the transition from the roof deck to the chimney. And the two blue lines down here represent, this is a, a brake line that's going to give it some extra strength, and this here is my uh, underturned hem. The green line is my cut line. Um, the kerf in back goes from here to here. I've made some snips in at the point where I want to do the bending from the other side, so I really don't need to mark the other side of the coil stock. These snips will simply show me where I need to put the coil stock in the brake. Now I've got my underturn hem at the base of the apron. I'm going to go ahead and bend that first. And then I'm going to come back and do this little strengthening rib. There's the profile thus far. I'm going to go ahead and bend these down and flatten them. I'm going to need to cut just about 45 degrees there in order to be able to bend this properly and same over on that side.
Okay, very good. That's uh, that's how we want it to sit. Now, when I want to, when I would go ahead to apply, put this on the chimney, I would take my caulking gun, and I would run a bead of sealant first in the kerf, and then I would put my apron flashing into the kerf, and then seal it again with another bead of sealant.